I'm Ice-T, and I'm one of the executive producers of Life After Prison. When my good friend John Boy got at me with the idea about making a television show about helping felons after they were released from prison, I was all with it. I consider myself one of the lucky ones. Jail can change you for the worse or the better. Lord, if, uh, if you know I'm gonna get out there and hurt someone again, then keep me in here for the rest of my life. I wouldn't have committed this crime if I hadn't been on pills, because I felt like Superwoman. Being a black man, I've been arrested, and I've had my share of problems with the law. But I always knew I wanted to do something positive with my life. Life After Prison is designed to help transform six hardcore ex-felons. John Boy, an ex-felon himself, along with a licensed therapist, will provide the assistance needed for the transformation. But it's ultimately up to the individual themselves. I understand. I'm one of you guys. Today is the beginning of a whole new day. Sometimes we gotta freeze our own lives. I'm 38 years old. I served 12 years consecutive. At the age of 16, my father was murdered right in front of me. He was shot five times in the chest with an AK-47. Um, and that's when I really woke up. If you know I can make a difference, then give me a shot. I'm 25 years old. Um, I did six years. I fell in with the wrong crowd in high school. I blamed other people at first, but um, I had to take responsibility for the part I took. Maybe more people would look at me being that I just came out of prison. So instead of knocking me down, maybe you'll pull me up. Majority in my 20s, all of them. Guess I pretty much decided when I started gang banging that this is what I was gonna do and I'm gonna be good at it. I got in trouble with white collar crime. You know, whatever I can gain from it is good. I think it'll be a good experience. I did the crime, I did the time. My father was involved in gangs my whole life. He went to prison when I was one. Uh, got involved in the gangs as well. Ended up in uh, juvenile halls. Lost my father from a heroin overdose about a year ago. You know, the only conversation I ever had with the guy was behind the walls in prison. Talking about how, you know, she got a problem, but you did in the room. Okay, because you got a beard and everything, so I'm not sure. I just have PCOS. What is that? I was born this way. I pray nothing happened. This me right here. That's me right there. Only see my face right there? Yeah, you sleep with your folks. Put the show on the ground, man, and try to get our life together. Fuck this show. Fuck this show. Why do we have it allowed us to break down? It's keeping me off the street right now. That's a few days that I know for sure I'm not going to be in my hood and getting in trouble or nothing like that. If I could change one life out there, that's beautiful. Real talk, we've all been affected by the prison system. Everyone deserves a second chance. This is life after prison.